Hello and welcome to this video on percentage increase and decrease. Now these types of questions are always set in a wee story, so there's a little context usually round about the question. If we look at this one, it says Mark works as a painter, he gets paid £240 per week. If he gets a 5% pay rise, what is his new weekly wage? So what you've got to do is you've got to work out what 5% of 240 is, and it's an increase, so it's going to be added on to his wage because it's a wage rise. So Really important that you read the question very carefully and understand what's going on. So Mark's getting a wage rise of 5% on his £240 per week pay. All right. So how do we work this out? Well, first of all, we've got to figure out the increase. So if you write down his increase is 5% of £240. So if we work that out, Remember, 5 divided by 100 times 240, that equals £12. Pounds. Now, I know there are some shortcuts to doing 5%. You can find 10%, which is 24 and half it. There's lots of different things that you can do to find 5%. We'll discuss those later. I'm going to stick to one method for this. So this will work if it's 5%, it would work if it was 6% or 7 or 8 or 9 as well, we just use the exact same method. So the percentage divided by 100 multiplied by the amount gives us that 5% of 240. So that's the increase that he gets, it's not his new wage, that's how much his wage is going up by. So his new wage is simply going to be his old wage, put the pound sign in, Add on the increase and that just gives me £252. Now, when you're asked a question like this in maths in a sentence, it's always better to try and answer it in a sentence as well, if you can. All right? So, at the bottom, very simply, I'm just going to put marks, not Mars, marks. Mark's new weekly wage is £252. Okay, so going through it again, first step is you've got to read the question very carefully and try and understand what's going on. Very often, what people do is they just look and they see numbers and they try and just do something with the numbers. So you've got to try and make sure you understand. So, Mark works as a painter, he's paid £240 per week. It's a 5% pay rise, what is his new weekly wage? Alright, so we've got to work out the increase first. So we figure out 5% of 240. We get that as 12. This is the way we do it. Remember, we're going to keep this method all the way through these videos, okay? And the new wage is £240. Add on the increase, it's £252. And as I said, if you're asked in a sentence, if it's in context, you have to then show that you understand the context. So your answer to the question is, Mark's new weekly wage is £252. That shows that you've understood the question and you've answered the question properly. Okay, so that's percentage increase and decrease. Okay, what we're going to look at now is appreciation and depreciation. Now, we've just looked there at percentage increase and decrease, and I showed you an example of a percentage increase. This time we're going to look at a percentage decrease, but the question's kind of framed in a slightly different way. Now, appreciation and depreciation just means percentage increase and decrease, but over time. So things that might do that are like value of a car or the value of a house. It's usually value of some kind of item and it'll increase over time or it'll decrease over time. And the questions again are in a kind of little context or a wee story round about it. So if we look at this one it says, a house which was bought for £80,000 in 2001 has depreciated in value by 15% since 2001. What is its value now? First thing we've got to do is understand the question. So what does appreciation and depreciation mean? Appreciation means going, the value goes up uh, with time, and depreciation means it goes down with time. I always remember it as depreciation as a decrease, okay? So if we remember that, that depreciation as a decrease, 
and that can help us because then appreciation is an increase. Okay, so depreciation is a decrease. Right, so the house is first worth £80,000 and it depreciates, so it decreases in value by 15%. So what we're going to do is we're going to find 15% of 80000 and then take that off of that amount. All right, so first thing we've got to do then is, just like before, we've got to find the decrease. Okay, so that's going to be 15% of £80,000. All right. And if we do the sums then, that's 15 divided by 100 times 80,000. And that gives us £12,000 if we work that out. Again, it's a simple sum, and I'm going to keep the structure of this the same the whole way through. Again, there are some tricks and different ways you can do 15%. I'm just going to do it this consistent method, okay? So 15 divided by 100 times 80,000 gives us 12,000 pounds. So that's been the decrease since 2001. So the value has dropped by 15%. And we also call that depreciation because it's over time, all right? So a decrease, the difference between percentage decrease is like a wage rise. It's just something that happens once. Um, depreciation happens over a certain amount of time. So you're talking about years since 2001. So, next step in this is, the house isn't worth um, £12,000 now, that's been the decrease, so we've got to work out the new value. And that's just going to be simply now, with increase we added on, so with decrease we're also going to take that away. So that's going to be 80000 take away 12000 leaving us 68 thousand pounds like that okay so again the question was asked in a sentence or in a little story so we're going to show our understanding of that by writing down the uh, the answer to the question in the same kind of way okay so the house's value is now sixty-eight thousand pounds And by doing that, we've shown that we've fully understood the entire question. We've applied the maths to it as we should. And then we've, we've given a statement at the end that's shown our, and demonstrated our understanding very well. All right? So those two videos, you saw a percentage increase question. That's for percentage increase and decrease. And for those questions, if it was a decrease wage cut, then you would just take away. So if a wage rise, we should add on. For these ones, appreciation and depreciation, the only difference is it happens over time. So you're often given extra information, like since 2001 or over the course of last year, the car's value decreased. And what you would do with that is just exactly the same thing. It's a decrease, so you work out the percentage uh, that you need to add on or take away, and then you do that, remembering to leave your, um, your answer in a sentence that relates to what happened before. So it's quite easy to do, and I'm sure you'll manage that, no problem. All right?